all right so um one of my pretty regular uh commenters uh suggested this song um memories uh, not the first one a few people have actually suggested memories uh, but they dropped me this link so um i don't got much to go off of it just says memories here um so let's jump into it right right abby rottenberg okay yeah so few quite a few people have actually suggested this person um there was another song something about i think a little kite um could have been another song that was recommended by this this artist um but it looks like it's older older songs so very tired old and worn out man okay so it's also english was not expecting that okay uh, it could just be the quality of the video voice doesn't sound spectacular thus far but just started so let's get into it and my eyes have long been blind most things that people Say to me, just to seem to slip in my mind. Oh, but the suffering and painful times. Now, is this person known more for their, um, for the lyrics or the uh, songs that they've composed, or is it also the voice? Because again, I'm not getting much out of like him singing or speaking, whatever it says considered. It's not blowing me away, but I'm listening to the story, and the story's kind of, kind of catching me. That were in years long gone, still as clear upon my memory uh, as the numbers on my eyes. That is a deep, deep line. Holy smokes. That is a terrible, like, reminder of what happened. What will become of all the memories? Are they to scatter with the dust in the breeze? Who will stand before the world? Knowing what to say when the very last survivor fades away. Fades away. Wow. Yeah, that's a heavy line right there. Um I mean as sad as that that reality will be when the last survivor of the holocaust actually passes um i think the jewish community is such a strong community thus far that i've been learning that uh, it's something that won't just disappear with that last survivor disappearing um you know here in canada obviously they're not comparable but i'm just saying like you know we have remembrance day for a lot of the fallen soldiers that fought um and some people were wondering about that like you know the last veteran of that kind of thing um or just veterans in general of like world war ii or world war one and stuff like that so th that's why history is so important because you can't just forget about that when I hold my grandson close to me And his fingers trace the pattern of my tears He asks me, Zayda, tell me why do you cry? What is it that you fear? Oh, and I tell him there once was another child 
my goodness. How do you even talk to a kid about this kind of thing? Like, I, I, I obviously didn't learn about this stuff till I was, I think, in high school. Maybe grade 8. History, you know, we didn't really have history. Maybe, yeah, grade 8 I learned a bit of it. But it wasn't really until high school that I learned this. So, I don't know how you would tell a kid about this kind of thing, you know? Who smelled this sweet and felt this warm? But he was taken from me from my eyes. And only I remain to the Yeah, that's that's pretty rough when you're when you witness atrocities like that and it's just ingrained into your mind and then you're like if you close your eyes you see it if you don't close your eyes you see it like you know i feel for people that have been in like wars and tragedies like that where they just have ptsd and these traumatic memories what will become of all the memories to scatter with the dust in the breeze and who will stand before a world that now wishes to deny how will they believe yeah i don't know who could deny i don't know how this is a thing we must not give aid to holocaust ad campaign used to all this propaganda was it's just ridiculous the holocaust story how much is fake like how did these people print this kind of shit apologize for swearing but like that kind of stuff just irritates me Even some more, never heard the Yeah, I've been seeing those a lot lately, like the yellow stars. Um, I've been seeing people using them for like the wrong reasons, like during COVID and stuff like that. Um, a bunch of non-intelligent people, but I don't really know how to react to this video outside of just watching the images because... And, and obviously listening to the lyrics. But like I said, this gentleman's voice is not amazing in terms of his singing capacity, but his storytelling um, or his lyrics are very, very compelling and very well written. Um, and obviously it's because of like it comes from the heart and experience, which is sad, but also I guess an outlet for him. I can say you do to make things change. Time has a way of passing by so fast. Now, this is a side question. Is this Abby Rottenberg or is this just somebody who made a music video um, with an older gentleman and just put it to the soundtrack to this? Like a fleeting shadow no one will recall the faces of the past what will become of all the memories are they to scatter with the dust in the breeze yet one thought gives me comfort it's all that i have loved for I know that God in heaven won't forget. Yeah, 
that's true. If there's one person that won't forget, it's uh, it's that man. Okay, so that was a live performance. Was that Mordecai Ben David that was singing that? Now I'm all confused. Okay. So yes, this was a video put to the performance that was a live performance. And that must have been Mordecai Ben David. Um... Maybe again, it was because he was singing in English, and I've I've tend to not be too fond of the Hebrew singer or the people who sing um, in Hebrew or uh, Yiddish, and then they sing in English. But uh, yeah, that performance was very deep. Um, thank you for the for the recommendation. Um, you guys let me know what you thought about the performance or the song or the visuals, the video itself. Um, and I will catch you guys on the next one.